This is breakfast this morning. I have some green beans with bacon. Have half of a small avocado. Have a hamburger patty where we had ordered burgers the other day and I had these in the refrigerator. So I took off a patty. I'm going to keep the pickles <laughs> and hash cheese on it. And then I have a piece of chicken with some keto alfredo sauce. Just a little tiny bit that was, um, it was cooked in. So this is how I'm breaking my fast this morning. I do have, like I say, that extra added protein there. As we get older, we do need to add in just a little bit more protein to our meals. Okay, let me go ahead and get started. And you see for the fat, I've added in a little bit of avocado. I haven't had that in a while. And I have two of them, so I need to go ahead and eat them. Anyhow, this is breakfast. What's up and welcome back to my channel. This is Keto and Granny. Today I'm going to talk with you a little bit about how you can lose weight fast with the ketogenic diet. It's something that a lot of people are doing or interested in doing, but they really don't know how. They don't know what to expect. Losing weight quickly on the ketogenic diet is possible, but it is very, very important to approach it safely and sustainably. This is where you run into your problems at. Keep in mind that rapid weight loss isn't always healthy or sustainable in the long run, but it is something that can be done. Before you do this, make sure that you consult with a healthcare professional before starting any new diet or weight loss plan, especially if you have underlying health conditions such as high blood pressure or you have some type of disease process going on. Make sure that you check with your doctor first before starting any diet. Here are some tips to help you lose weight on the ketogenic diet. Tip number one is you want to understand the keto diet. You want to know exactly what it is. The keto diet is a high fat, low carbohydrate diet that forces your body into a state of ketosis where it burns fat for fuel instead of carbohydrates. What does that mean? Let's explore that for just a moment. So I had to stop and change as you can see. But I want to talk a little bit about the ketogenic side. As I said, the first thing is understanding the keto diet. The ketogenic diet, you want to get your body in a state that is known as ketosis. To achieve ketosis, you need to consume around 70 to 75% of your daily calories will need to come from fat. 20 to 25% of your calories need to be protein and five to ten percent of your calories need to be carbohydrates now these percentages are really the best percentages for you to follow when you start doing the ketogenic diet as you progress through the ketogenic diet these percentages will change according to your body needs and you're going to have to find these uh, percentages out by um, Eating um, foods in a way, how do I want to say, that um, suit your body. And you will find that out um, as you go along doing the ketogenic diet. It's not something hard to do. It's just that you will begin to know what foods um, help your body in the best way. Number two is you want to calculate your macros. It's very, very important that while you're on the ketogenic diet, that you understand and calculate your macros. Determine your daily calorie and macronutrient goals. The, there are many online calculators and different apps available that can help you do this. You can download them, you can download, I use Card Manager, there's an app called Zero, but they have lots of apps that you can download on your phone or your computer to use to help you calculate your macros. Tracking your food intake is going to be useful. It's going to make sure that you're staying within your desired macros, that you're eating like you want to, that you're having the foods that you want. And for instance, using Carb Manager, I put in my foods. It lets me know my protein intake. I can find out my fat intake. And also lots of good keto recipes that you can find and use on Carb Manager but it's up to you what app you decide to use. 
Number three, choose healthy fats. You want to make sure that you're eating healthy fats. I'm not saying add in a bunch of fats into your meals. You don't have to do that. But you're going to get fats from some of the meats that you eat. You're going to get um, healthy fats. You're going to get, and when I say healthy fats, I'm going to give you some examples such as avocados, nuts. I like pecans. Um, some people eat almonds, macadamia nuts. Um, some people eat seeds. Fatty fish like salmon, um, you can eat things like tuna. Um, lots of things, ways that you can get your fat, olive oil, avocados. But you do want to avoid trans fats and you want to limit your saturated fats. Number four, make sure that you are restricting your carbohydrates. Make sure that you're limiting your daily intake of carbohydrates to between 20 to 50 grams a day or less if you are doing the ketogenic diet. This is where you're going to get the best results and this is going to vary from person to person. But the lower your um, carbohydrate intake is, let me say that again, the lower your carbohydrate intake is, the better it is going to be for you as far as getting into ketosis. Remember, this is your goal to get into ketosis. Not everyone stays in ketosis, but you're going to be so close to it while you're doing the ketogenic diet. That's why your body is going to be losing weight. Number five, make sure that you're eating protein in moderation, especially for starting off. I know that as people progress through the ketogenic diet, some go to higher protein, some go to lower protein, different things. But when you start off, make sure that you're eating protein in moderation. You want to consume a moderate amount of protein. An excessive amount of protein is going to kick you out of ketosis. Um, remember that an excessive, an excessive amount of protein is going to kick you out of ketosis. When you figure out how much protein you want to be eating, and like I said, when you're eating in moderation, you want to eat 0 0.6 to 0 0.8 grams of protein per pound of lean body mass. So if you say the lean body mass is 120, then you want to multi multiply that by 0 0.6 to find out the amount of protein that you should be eating. Make sure, make sure that you are staying hydrated. You want to make sure you're drinking plenty of water. Um, also, if you're drinking things like um, black coffee, um, unsweetened tea, those type of things are allowed on the ketogenic diet. But just make sure that you're staying hydrated. And I find the easiest way to do that is basically just by drinking mostly water. Every now and then you may see me with a cup of black coffee or fatty coffee or maybe even some unsweetened tea but it's something that I really use as a treat for myself. Make sure that you're including fiber in your diet. You want to consume low carb, high fiber vegetables. This is going to aid you with your digestion and it's going to help you feel full also. These type of vegetables are things like broccoli, cabbage, cauliflower, um, your spinach, your kale, uh, these are all very good vegetables to include in your diet. I, leave, I eat a lot of cauliflower. I love cauliflower, especially the cauliflower rice. But make sure that you're including fiber in your diet if you're doing the ketogenic diet. And it's always good to plan your meals. If you can plan your meals and prep your meals ahead of time, this is going to help you stay focused and on point on your weight loss journey. Prepare your meals and snacks in advance to ensure that you have something that's keto friendly uh, available for you when you get hungry. Because when you get hungry, a lot of times you're just gonna eat the first thing that you see. So you also wanna have some things in your cabinet. When you open your cabinet, you wanna be able to see foods that you like and foods that you can eat that are keto friendly. But remember, you want to avoid a lot of the shelf keto products. A lot of these aren't really keto friendly. Just remember that if it's in a box, normally it's not really as keto friendly as it seems. So make sure that you learn to read your labels and know what the ingredients are. That brings me to the next thing, which is make sure that you're paying attention to hidden carbs. And that's where 
reading food labels comes in and it's very very important um, foods that you eat there in a box a lot of processed foods they have hidden carbs in them such as sugar and starches and a lot of other forms of carbohydrates with names that you can't even pronounce so make sure that you are reading your later labels also it's going to be really good if you can monitor your ketosis and by that i mean when you first start off with me i use i did use the urine test strips they came in handy for me because I began to know when I was in ketosis and I began to know what type of foods I was eating to get to ketosis. So you can use those urine strips to learn a lot of things. And then later on, I did invest in a blood monitor um, that helps me track and know um, when I'm in ketosis. So this is very, very handy for you if this is something that you want to do, but it is very optional also. Make sure that you... Number 11, make sure that you add in some exercise regularly. Use both aerobic and anaerobic and strength training exercises in your routine. All of this is going to help you as you progress through your diet. You want to try and tighten your skin as you go along. Um, keto is going to help you with your weight loss and exercise is going to improve your overall health and, 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 and make your body look a little bit tighter. So that's, that's something that you would want to do also. Number 12, make sure that you are getting enough sleep. Ensure you get enough sleep because poor sleep is going to negatively affect your weight loss. It's during this time that your body is going through autophagy, that your cells are renewing and regenerating. So sleep is very, very important. This is when your body is refueling and regenerating for its next uh, uh, day of chores. Make sure, number 13, that you're managing stress. High levels of stress can hinder your weight loss. Stress can stop you from losing weight. Incorporate stress management techniques like using meditation or deep breathing into your routine. These things are gonna help you relax, go for a walk, even exercising. You can use these things to help you um, relieve your stress. Number 14 is the last um, tip I'm going to talk about or some of the things that can help and that's consult a professional. I did go and talk to a nutritionist um, when I first started the ketogenic diet. I also talked to my doctor about the ketogenic diet and these consultations helped me a whole lot. So if you need to consult a professional, especially if you're not seeing the results or you know that you want or you're having uh, adverse effects from different things that you are doing, consult with a healthcare professional, you know, registered dietitian or someone, a registered nutritionist. So talk to your doctor um, if they know about the ketogenic diet because a lot of the doctors don't, I must say. Remember that while keto um, can lead to weight loss due to water loss, it is sustainable fat loss over time, but it does take time. You want to make sure that you focus on the long-term health and sustainable habits that you're going to learn from keto as you go along and losing weight rather than the fast results. But it can be combined, keto and intermittent fasting, to help you lose weight quickly and to keep it off. Anyhow, I hope this information has helped you. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, hit that subscribe button now like, share, and comment below. I love to hear what you have to say. This is Keto Granny saying stay focused and we can do this. Can I be back, honey? Okay, it's walking time again. Like I'm gonna start this way and walk around. Isn't this beautiful out here?
This helps me get closer to my 10,000 steps. And I do, I like to get most of my 10,000 steps in early in the day. If I do that, then it makes it a, you know, a whole lot easier than anything that I get over 10,000. It's gravy. So that's my goal. Working on my 10,000 steps today. I'll take you on this walk as far as I can with you. Okay. A lady had asked about these little things that they call the snake doctors. That is them. And they are like flying everywhere over here. I don't even know how they got that name. Now this area is by a little like a little marshy area over here. Wow, look at that big old fly. Whatever that thing is right there. It is huge. It is some kind of a fly. That there is a snake doctor. Okay, so I've never been on this side of the lake before. So this is all new to me out here. It's really pretty over here though. It really good. Hoping that you're getting out, getting you some exercise. You know, I use my walking time as a time for, you know, just meditating. As a time for just thinking. I use this time for planning, you know, maybe my meal for the day. my activities. This is a gorgeous and beautiful area. Oh, they even have benches. <laughs> benches around the walkway. Which I think is pretty cool because if you get tired, like I have said, and you need to sit down and go at your own pace. Find a place that does have benches that offers you a place to sit and a place to rest. And that way you can walk at your own pace. Now you see me looking as I'm walking because I do know that Oklahoma is known for snakes, things like that. So I'm gonna make sure I'm watching while I'm walking, but this is a nice area, a nice sitting area. There's the bench. And here's the view from here. Very, very nice. So today I'm going to walk the lake twice. If I got out here a little earlier, I would do it three times. Who knows, maybe four times. But I am going to walk it twice today. This is my first time ever walking this lake. But I'm going to be back around, it looks like, pretty soon. And I uh, feel like I'm going to walk it again. So. It's a beautiful lake, beautiful area. Adding exercise in with the ketogenic diet and then just sprinkling some intermittent fasting in there, you're gonna get some good results. 
not me. I know that I, I'm thankful for the results that I get because I have health issues. So I use keto a lot to help me with my health issues. But also, I use it for weight loss, for weight control. Um, it helps with all of those things. It's very beneficial in many, many ways. So she's turning around. Okay. But I think she's the same walker that I've seen out here all the time. Walking. The other day when I came through here. There's one of those things called the snake doctor right there on the sidewalk. Like I said, I don't know why it's called that. But since I was a little kid, that's what uh, grandmother and everyone always told us. <laughs> okay. As you're walking, just make sure that you're checking all around you. Know who's around you. Another one. It's getting hot. Okay. So y'all, I'm going to stop recording. Go ahead and finish my walk because I'm going to do some very fast pace walking also. This is what's around the lake. I should just call this once around. <laughs> One thing I forgot to do this morning was bring my bottle of water. Next time I go by the car, I will pick that up. So everyone, have a blessed day. Keto Grand is saying get out, get you some exercise. Keeping it safe until another day. Keeping it safe. I'll go and be the guy for keeping it safe. To see another day. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Okay. What is this here? Some kind of little. Hmm. Look at those two little ducks or geese were there in the same spot the last time I came here. Sitting right there. You know, you gotta believe in yourself. You're gonna have to be the one who's gonna get up and start this journey. No one else is gonna get up and start this journey for you. Don't keep putting it off and saying, I'll start tomorrow, I'll start tomorrow. If you keep doing that, tomorrow's never going to come. Step out on faith and start today. Step out on faith and start today. You can do it. You got this. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. I am out walking this morning. And I'm walking the lake. First time walking around the lake here. I want to do it twice. But I'm adding in another area in the park. I'm gonna go ahead and walk this. And I didn't bring my water with me. So I'm gonna stop by the car, see if my husband has some water in the car. Normally we carry something in there. And if we don't have any, then I'm just gonna I'll take go hit this lake twice tomorrow. 
let's do it once today. Okay. Ooh. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, all right, how are you? Good. That's good. Have a good day. Uh huh. So it's nice out here. It's another walker. Like I said, I believe she was walking the other day when I was out here walking. This is something I want to do every day. Some days I get up though, hey, it is just too hot here. And if I don't get out early enough, then I know I'm not going to be, um, you know, getting out a lot later. Anyhow, heading back up to where I started. Getting close to it anyway. So, let me show you the area. back over there. I'm going a different direction from there now. So this is where I'm at. I'm getting ready to keep on walking a little bit more, but adding some exercise to your day is going to make you feel really, really good. This is the bridge I was at the other day, and I thought that I was, um, like, taping it, but I guess I was live. So there. What is that over there? This is a little bridge area that I came across. Yeah, let's do my head just still there. This seems to be a popular area. Everyone gets over there. I'm gonna come out here one day and set up. See if I can sell some Jerry. Yeah. But I'm almost back to where Cheeto Kenny is. Back to where I started from, there's a snake doctor. I don't know if you can see it. Like I said, I don't know where those things get the name. Snake doctor. But that's what they call them. Snake doctors. Okay. Completed my goal for today, which was to get across. Did you see that fish just come up? That was a pretty good sized fish. Wow. Okay. I saw that one and I caught him on caught him on here. Fish jumping out the water. Pretty cool. I would say so. But this is the lake. Thank you.